6 Coronation Street spoilers. Paul plans his death as Adi is unconscious. There's set to be a turbulent time on Coronation Street for Paul Foreman, Peter Ash. But as he desperately tries to get someone to help him with ending his life, will anyone agree? Elsewhere, Adi has a turbulent week as he plans to tell Amy how he feels about her before finding himself unconscious due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Will he pull through? Plus, Cassie discovers the puppy farm and romance is in the air. Among the youngsters of the Coronation Street cast, read on for your essential Coronation Street spoilers from Monday 8th, Friday 12th, January 2024. 1. Paul plans to end his life as Paul's motor neurone disease symptoms worsen. He starts to make plans to end his own life. He turns to Todd to ask for help, but he refuses. Paul wrangles with the fact he knows it's too much to ask someone, but he's terrified of becoming a hostage inside his own body. Feeling sympathy for the situation his friend finds himself in, Todd takes Paul to the surgery, where he tries to make out he's in great pain and needs medication, but Dr. Gaddis refuses to prescribe anything. Back in the pub, Abby overhears Paul complaining about not being able to get the drugs, and later on pops round when Paul asks her to. To her surprise, she's asked to try and score the medication. Will she help him? Later on, someone photographs Abby buying some benzos. Has she agreed to help out Paul, or is she on a slippery slope? 2. Cassie finds the puppy farm. Evelyn is desperate to find evidence of Terry running the puppy farm, and when she sees him in the precinct with a tray of puppy food, she decides to follow him, even though she's putting herself in danger. Evelyn and Cassie show Roy a puppy for sale online and wonder whether it's one of Terry's. Roy makes some fake inquiries and gets through to a woman called Joan, who gives her address to him. Cassie pretends to deliver a large bag of dog food, but Joan sends her away. Taking matters into her own hands, Cassie climbs through a window downstairs and sees crates of puppies and a stash of cash. But as she investigates, Terry enters with a baseball bat. Later on in the week, Craig calls in at the cafe and reveals Terry's been seriously assaulted, and the prime suspect was Evelyn. And though she gets off, all eyes are on Cassie, when Hope finds a stash of cash at home. When Craig spills Terry was also robbed of some money, it's not looking great for Cassie. Will she be prosecuted? 3. Adi has a confession. Dev plans a birthday meal for Asha and Adi, but neither kids are majorly up for it. But nevertheless, they go ahead with it and plan an after-party for the night. At the meal, Asha and Nina urge Adi to tell Amy he really likes her. At the party, Asha's upset to discover someone's reported Isla to the university, claiming her relationship with Isla has been inappropriate. She's convinced it's a jealous Nina, but was she right? Meanwhile, Adi finds a furious Nina in Victoria Gardens, and as they discuss their various tense relationships with Amy and Asha, they pair end up sharing a kiss. Has Adi ruined his chance with Amy? 4. Does Adi die? After their charged kiss, Adi and Nina agree to never mention it again. However, when Asha unwraps a bracelet, Adi and Nina are forced to admit they're shared a kiss at the party. Asha's furious, to say the least, and later on, she lets herself into Adi's flat, and when she finds him asleep on the sofa, she hurls the bracelet at him and insists she doesn't want to see him ever again. But unbeknownst to her, Adi is unconscious with the broken carbon monoxide alarm from earlier in the year on view. Will anyone realize what's going on before it's too late? Will Adi pull through? 5. Ed is tempted Damon gives Ed a wad of cash and tells him to purchase materials for the bar renovation, completely unaware of the potential consequence of giving him so much money. Dee Dee tells Damon about Ed's gambling addiction history, and Damon starts to panic. 6. Damon's in danger. Harvey's been calling Damon nonstop, and it's safe to say he's at the end of his tether with him. When Damon finally answers, he tells Harvey he'll kill him right in Sarah's earshot, and she's convinced Damon's still the thug he always used to be. It falls upon Ed, who does his best to reassure Sarah that Damon is, in fact, a changed man and is trying to turn his life around. Sarah offers Damon a lifeline, and the pair agree to meet for a drink. But as he heads down the street, Damon discovers his car's been crushed. Thanks for catching me up on Coronation Street. So much drama, right? Can't wait to see how it all unfolds. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more juicy spoilers and updates. 
you wouldn't want to miss a single twist in the storyline.